So you want to know how I feel the Daily Driver 5.0? I'll tell you how I feel. Coming up. Wanna know how it is to daily drive a 5.0? Well, I'm about to tell you right now. Just living leaving class or whatever, so you already know first thing first, gotta get some gas. Show you what it's like driving a 5.0, bro. Check this. Gas light always on, bro. Especially because I drive a lot of miles. I'm here to tell you guys, man, daily driving a 5.0. It's really not bad, bro. If you if you're new to my channel, my name is K. And I'm daily driving at 5 -0 and I'm daily driving my dream car pretty much. This was and is my dream car. I'm getting a chance to drive it every day, bro. And it's pretty fun, man. You feel me? 2014, 5-0. You know? So it's fun and I'm mad at the same time. The only reason I'm mad is because I drive a lot, bro. Like my commute to school. It's stupid crazy, you feel me? So, I really personally don't want to drive my Mustang to school, but I'm under circumstance under the circumstances right now. That's what I'm doing. But uh, as far as me not enjoying it, I'm not enjoying it because of the car. I'm just not enjoying it because of it's just I just don't want to drive it to school. You know, like me putting on miscellaneous miles for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But since I'm doing it, it's cool, bro. I drive this thing every day, bro. It's super reliable. Haven't had any problems out of it whatsoever. Uh, I average decent fuel economy, so I get about anywhere from 22 to 27. Uh, the MPG standard on the highway is 26. So I get anywhere between 22 to 27. Depends on, uh, you know, how I'm feeling that day, you know what I'm saying? Depends on my foot. So yeah, that's not bad, bro. Like I said, it's a 5.0, it's a V8. I always get to hear that good exhaust sound. I love to hear that, man. Like I gave y'all the quick little uh, cold start this morning. As far as comfortability, super comfortable, bro. I took this, I drove this car all the way from Florida, dude, to Michigan, nonstop. And I did not get fatigued at all. These seats right here in this car is super comfortable dude so don't get me wrong i have i don't have the basic seats i have the um gtcs so the california special so it has the leather and the alcantara suede whatever you want to call it those see what i'm saying so power seats as well heated seats as well but these seats man they are super comfortable i probably use the heated seat uh function in this car maybe like four times all together so far but these seats these seats bro super comfortable man super comfortable let's see what else man as far as power there's power everywhere man constant power on this car whenever i want to pick up some speed and go go ahead just downshift the fifth gear real quick slap on the gas you know what i'm saying and do what you got to do i got power everywhere on this car you feel me just everywhere sometimes i don't even let it uh sometimes i don't even like go crazy most of the times I don't even go crazy in this car. I really just be chilling. Like I'm doing maybe like 75 right now on a highway. Everybody else kind of like right there looking at me, talking to y'all or right there staring at the car or they just fly past me. Other than that, bro, I just be chilling. Right now I'm doing 75 and I'm averaging. Let me press the MPG real quick. I'm averaging 34. <laughs> But I'm going downhill, so I know that's wrong. It's going down now. So it's stopping about 26 -ish. So I'm averaging about 26 right now. Uh, the 5.0 is a premium gas, but uh, 
I've seen a lot of people use regular, dude. Really, it's just the um, the fuel ratio, man. The the combustion, like you get better combustion using premium than than regular. But you can use regular if you want to. Uh, it's really, bro. Low key, the gas in this car is really not that bad. So, if you a, a true subscriber, you know I had the Celica before the last video where you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of it. The Celica I was putting about ten bucks a ten bucks a day in gas between ten to twelve bucks a day in gas to get to school. That ten bucks to get me to school and back home and then i had to put some more gas in it for the next day now with the mustang 10 bucks will get me to school but i need another 10 bucks to get back home so at the end of the day it's probably about at the end of the day it's 20 bucks a day in gas but that's the equivalent well i'm driving 140 miles a day you know what i'm saying so 20 bucks for 140 miles really not that bad and then in the mustang depends on the price of gas i only pay 40 bucks to fill her up probably a little bit more depending on how, how what the gas prices of gas is <coughs> <coughs> my bad y'all i'm getting over a, a cold or whatever but depending on the price of gas i'm uh like 40 45 bucks man that's not bad bro because everybody who got a V8 be talking so crazy. Like, oh my God, I can't stand it. I hate the gas prices. I hate putting gas in my car. Make you think it's like $80 or fill it up or something like that, something crazy. It's really not bad, bro. And the V8 is, I really feel like I'm still driving a Celica as far as gas mileage because believe it or not, I really wasn't getting that good of a gas mileage in the Celica. Towards the end of his life, you know what I'm saying with the oil consumption problem and all that, it wasn't getting good gas prop, uh, good gas mileage. Of course, because of you know what I'm saying, it's burning oil. Oil is just uh, seeping seeping by the cylinder, so that's not good during the combustion time and all that stuff. So the MPG is going to be off. But either way, go. I don't feel horrible with the MPG in this car. MPG is good. Drivability is good. This thing. It, it goes where it's very responsive it goes wherever you want it to go you have the option between comfort mode sport mode and standard mode with the steering wheel feel and then of course you know you can put it in uh, sport mode you could put uh, traction control off all those things to heighten up the car you know what I'm saying make it more alive for you and at the end of the day it's just a 5 -0. now some things coming with the 5 -0, daily driving a 5 -0, you get everybody looking at you, bro. Everybody in a mama looking at you. Uh, everybody want to pull up to you, rev their engines, try to race you on the freeway or whatever. Especially if you get, uh, well, especially if they have a muscle car or a fast car uh, in, their, in their eyes. I have multiple dudes trying to pull up on me. And you know what I'm saying? We I handle my business. The, the 5-0 will handle itself. I smoked plenty um, Camaros already, and I already smoked some Challengers. You feel me? Just watch my videos, bro. Go to my last video. Me and uh, it was a it was a Scat Pack Challenger. No, it was a Scat Pack Charger, and it was a a T8 Challenger. We was having some fun. Me and them was fooling on the freeway, and then we went off onto the street. We had some fun with that. So, yeah, bro. The Mustangs is a good daily driver. It's good for fun and entertainment, and then at the same time, it's practical. It gives you de decent miles per gallon. It gives you the power that you need to move around in everyday maneuvers on a highway, in a city, whatever. I do have the six-speed manual transmission. Uh, my thoughts on the manual transmission, the MT82, is pretty cool for me right now. I would like a shorter, uh, short, a short throw shifter so i will be doing that mod i don't know when but i will be doing it uh six speed so far bro it's not that bad i'm still getting used to it just because this is my first manual car that i own you feel me 
I'll, I've driven them before, but this is my first one that I own, so I'm still getting used to it. I only had the car for a month, you feel me? So, with that being said, one owner, one month ownership review is coming soon of the car. Uh, and then a total, just a, a regular review will be coming too. But, yeah, six-speed manual is cool with me, bro. As long as you let the car warm up, that's one thing I did realize with, about this car. If you don't let the car warm up, say like this morning when I did the cold start, if I would have immediately took off, you go, you go grind some gears. Especially if you just get in here and start hot dogging it, you go grind some gears, bro. Because you ain't even got you ain't even got the gears lubricated yet. You feel me? The the um the oil it's not even loose yet. It's not even up to temperature. So you in there trying to switch gears? That's pretty much trying to switch gears and slush or something like that you know what i'm saying i wish y'all could see it it's a horse and carriage literally right here going across the freeway right now that's crazy bro but uh yeah so yeah don't do that let your car warm up luxury wise i mean i can talk about the cabin for you guys the cabin like i said i have the gts it's pretty cool the sound system in this car is amazing bro I love this sound system. I actually had to turn it down. Had to go into the settings, turn the bass down. I got my bass in negative right now because the bass hit so hard in this car. I have this shaker sound system. So with the subwoofer in the back, the two subs in the door, subs, two subs in the back. Then it has the, uh, you know, the regular door speakers, regular speakers in the back, stuff like that. This boy bangs, bro. I really want to get the ultimate experience by taking this boy to a drive-in movie theater and just listen to the movie on the uh, radio because <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. Had a bass up, crazy good sound effects. But yeah, I ride with my stuff on negative because that junk bang. Now I might pump it up, had the windows down because other than that, I get a headache because like, that junk going crazy. Like. So the sound system is good. Got the glass roof as you can see so it's pretty cool man it's it's a, it's a great vibe during the day and this is an amazing vibe at nighttime like it's a killer bro i'm telling you throw you some some cool music on you know what i'm saying set the ambient lighting had a glass roof open cruising you know what i'm saying getting the stars coming through the ceiling ultimate man this is what i like to this is what i'm just i'm just painting a description for y'all this is how this is what it's like to drive a 5 on a daily basis you know what i'm saying you got the power you got the vibe you know what i'm saying everybody always looking at you because it's a 5 i'm still getting used to that because i'm coming from a celica you feel me everybody used to look at the celica laugh and point at all that stuff now they're looking at the mustang giving me high fives want to be in my face want to talk to me all the time so it's a transition if you're not you if you're not really like a friendly person you're gonna have to get used to it bro because you're gonna get a lot of attention with this type of car Daily driving a 5 -0, you're gonna attract a lot of attention to you. you know what I'm, I'm just letting you know that right now. So that's that. Uh yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it for the video. This is what it's like. A real personal true perspective to daily drive a 5.0 Mustang. So there we go, guys, man. My name is Kay. This is Live to Drive. Thanks for watching. We I do want to see you next video and this is what it's like to daily drive a 5.0 see you next video